Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about one important thing that is being asked by most of the people. So for this COVID-19 infection, since there is no particular treatment that has been invented for this COVID-19 infection, people around the globe are using multitude of drugs for treating this COVID-19. So from the beginning of the pandemic in the March 2020 until now, we have been going through lots of drugs. Suddenly they say this drug works, this drug works. Then suddenly the next month they say, oh, this doesn't work. So don't uh, give this drug, stop using this drug. This is dangerous. So people are confused. Definitely doctors are giving half dozen tablets to all the people uh, getting infection from COVID. And even after getting those half dozen tablets, people are becoming sicker. So people are really confused which works and which doesn't. So that is what we are going to speak about today. So to know this, we have to know that in COVID-19 infection contains two phases. That is the initial viremic phase where the virus is getting multiplied in your body. During this viremic phase, a person gets symptoms like just like any other viral infection, fever, sore throat, and body pain and headache, then loose tools, vomiting and all that. So during this viremic phase, none of the drugs which were proposed earlier work something like azithromycin, doxycycline, even ivermectin, uh, even the drugs such as lopinavir, ritronavir, even the drugs such as like this uh, favipiravir, uh, all these drugs actually do not work that much. They say some little bit effect here and there, all this hydroxychloroquine, they are not known to work much. So off late, almost in all major protocols, most of these drugs have been removed from guidelines. So in mild infection, all you need is just simple paracetamol, some cough syrup, some medicines for vomiting, good amount of fluids and if at all you need some multivitamin or zinc or whatever. So apart from this, no other drug is going to help in the initial viremic phase. So no other antiviral drug is proven to be helpful in initial viremic phase and it will known to prevent severe COVID-19 infection. No other drug has been proven. So, no need of wasting time and money in buying those uh, expensive multiple drugs. You can just swallow some paracetamol. The second stage of COVID-19 infection is called the inflammatory phase where our own immune system of the body, they just fight against the COVID-19 infection and during this fight, they get overzealous and they get start attacking our own body. So during this inflammatory phase is what most of the people suffer from COVID-19 pneumonia. They suffer from blood clots and get lots of complications and most of the deaths happen during this stage. So in this stage, no drug uh, that is uh, helpful in preventing viral replication or something like that, they don't work. So in this stage, all we need is two drugs. One is mainly steroids uh, and another is anticoagulants. So these are the two main drugs that are helpful in the inflammatory stage and in preventing the further damage. If these two drugs are started at the right time, they should not be started too early, they should not be started too late. If these two drugs are started at the right time, when just at the onset of uh, hypoxia or just at the onset of inflammation, if we are able to find by correct monitoring, they can just change the course of the disease altogether and it can prevent a lot of deaths. So what about this drug called Remdesivir? People are just queuing outside the medical shops and the pharma dealers and it is Remdesivir black marketing is just thriving outside, fake drugs are coming. So what about this Remdesivir? It is a very particular case because this Remdesivir uh, has been found in many trials that it does not help in mild COVID infection. It does not help in severe COVID-19 infection where once already in the severe inflammatory phase has started. But in many trials it has shown that it has reduced the hospital stay and in few trials it has also been shown to prevent mortality in a particular group called moderate category of COVID-19 infection where the patient is just at the beginning of getting hypoxia. The saturation just starts falling below 95-94% and the respiratory problem is not that much. So if we start this remdesivir drug at the right time, just before the onset of this hypoxia or oxygen desaturation, definitely it helps a lot of people. But the problem is the cost and availability. It's a very costly drug. Some six vials of remdesivir costs anywhere between around 15,000 to 30,000 rupees, even with the MRP and in black market, it just, it is getting sold for thousands and lakhs of rupees. 
So at this coronavirus pandemic where around 3 to 4 lakh people are getting infected daily and at least if 10 or 15 percent that is around 30 to 40 thousand people will be going for moderate infection daily. So definitely it is not possible to give remdesivir to all the 30 to 40 thousand people. So people should note that this remdesivir is not a wonder drug. Once a person starts getting COVID-19 infection by day one or day two, there is no use in giving this remdesivir. Once the patient becomes very sick after 9th day, 10th day, the patient is very sick, hypoxic on ventilator, CPAP, there is no use in giving this remdesivir. If around on 6th to 7th day, 8th day, just about the onset of hypoxia, if the remdesivir is given, it can save lots of life. So if we use the drug for the right indications, definitely it will help save lots of lives. And it will also help in reducing the unnecessary demand for this drug and too much black marketing and uh, fake drugs, uh, all these uh, issues. Apart from this, lots of herbal formulations have also come up claiming that they have efficiency in treating mind to moderate infections. But one thing to notice, most of these drugs have been conducted in small trials that is 50 to 100 people. So the effects cannot be extrapolated to a larger population. So only when these drugs are actually given in larger population and only when the drugs are being proved to show that actually it helps progressing to severe disease. So for 500 people you give this drug and 500 people you don't give this drug. So in both the groups we should compare the mortality that is death rate, we should compare the hospitalization rate, we should compare how many people get sicker or how many people get oxygen requirement in group A and how many people get oxygenation requirement in group B. Only when we compare both these and when conduct in larger amounts, we should be able to tell that okay, this drug when given early actually prevents deaths. This drug when given early reduces hospitalization, reduces oxygen requirement. If not, if we just conduct in 50 or 100 people, the results cannot be extrapolated to a larger population. So whatever be the drug, let it be Ayurveda or Siddha or Yunani or homeopathy or allopathy, modern medicine, whatever be it, we should do proper randomized control trials in good number of population, 500 to 1000 people at least. And we should prove that it actually helps preventing death, oxygenation and hospitalization requirement. If not, the drug is of no use. If you just claim that it will help in mild infections of COVID-19, all the minor infections of COVID-19 just, just get cured on their own. So there is no need of giving another drug to augment the cure rate in mild forms of COVID-19. Only if it prevents moderate and severe COVID-19 infection to a particular percentage, definitely the drug can be deemed to be useful. So otherwise, more and more drugs are keeping on coming. We have discussed about this 2-deoxyglucose in another post. So more drugs will keep coming but we should always apply proper scientific methods and to find which drug works and which drug does not work. So thank you, keep watching, keep connected, we will be discussing more and more uh, useful health and medical related queries and all the COVID-19 pandemic situation. So keep connected, thank you.